the great hornworm battle of 2018, and things are about to get ugly. Well, that might be a little bit too drastic for our tomato plants, but I have something else. So this right here is my little, my youngest son's, it's, it says buck, but it's basically the Daisy Red Rider miniature. So it's a real tiny BB gun. And so this is his BB gun that my five-year-old plays with. And, uh, you know, he knows the rules of proper firearm ownership, proper firearm handling. We've been training him since he was two years old how to shoot a real firearm and to hold and handle a real firearm since he was two. And so um, I'm taking this today because for the last few days I have been battling in my garden the tomato hornworms that have been... Uh, un assaulting my tomato plants. So I'm coming out here. I'm going to show you what's going on. You know, here's the deal, folks. You can pick these things off and you can feed them to your chickens. But, you know, you're, you're kind of taking the easy way out. I mean, if you're not solving all of your life's problems without a bullet, you're just, you're just not doing it right. So let me go over here, find out. Oh, where is he at? I saw him over here earlier. The last couple days I've been out here and oh wait i see one i see him right there yeah this guy likes to eat tomato plants well i got something for that uh he's put the barrel right up next to him and then well, i mean i don't want to hit the <laughs> the solar dehydrator but uh you know casualties of war there will be some all right here we go Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, yeah. That's got to hurt. Uh-huh. See, that's a lot easier than picking these things off with your hands. It's a lot funner, too. It takes stress away from, you know, from life. I think we should hit him again. Oh, yeah. That nailed him. Who else wants some? Let's see. I thought I saw more over here a minute ago. Guys, you really got to come out here and check your plants every single day. Uh, the hornworms are busy. Or they're at it. And here's another one. Look at this guy right there. He's a big, fat one. Well, it's all right, Mr. Hornworm. I got a present for you. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that hurts. I know it hurts. All right, who else wants to play? I know there's one over here. You can always tell when there's one active because you can see the poop. So you see that tomato? See those little black dots down there? That's the poop. And so you know there's one active when you see the poop. And so when you see the poop, you look closer, you're going to find one. And look at that. Right back there. Mr. Worm, meet Mr. Red Rider. Hello! Hello! I have a tomato for you. Oh, that hurts. Oh, I got a headache all of a sudden. I think I hit my greenhouse on that last one. Casualties of war. But I think it just bounced off. That's a cool thing about these things. They're worm killers, but they won't really do, do any other major damage to any infrastructure that you may have laying around. Just one more for good measure. Oh, oh I think I broke the branch on that one. That's okay. Well, look, here's one I got the other day. He's like all shriveled up on the branch. Tomato hornworms are some of the most destructive things you can have in your garden. When, I mean, it, really, it literally t can take them a day or two tops to completely destroy one plant. Um, and so if, when they're active, uh, it's just something you have to stay on top of, the top on. The minute you see that those leaves and, and uh, branches off your tomato plants that have been chewed down, you've got to go to work. I want to show you this plant right here. This plant was a vibrant tomato plant, was a really nice tomato plant, and it was completely almost destroyed by a tomato hornworm. And so I came out here, this was the one that I saw um, that was being worked on the most, the one that first caught my attention. And so obviously I killed the hornworms, but they had already destroyed this plant. Now it's very doubtful this plant will come back. It's got a few leaves on it, so it'll still allow the photosynthesis to take place inside the plant, maybe. Um, but it, chances are it's damaged way too far beyond beyond your control uh, to help have that plant be recovered. So um, anyway, I want to show you, after you kill the worm, wasp will take in and they will eat that worm to death or basically just use it for food. 
uh, bees and wasps are very well known for eating hornworms. Um, and if you kill it and, and give it, you know, offer it up to them, they'll, they'll eat it. This plant too, you can tell, I mean, a lot of damage on this plant. This plant's probably going to recover. It did have a few tomatoes. Some of the tomatoes even got chewed on. Um, but this plant's probably going to come back. Um, it's still got some leaves up at the top that allow it to grow. But uh, man, it was a close call for this one. Oh, look at that. It's a tomato hornworm. How are you today, Mr. Hornworm? Oh, not so good. For some reason, I have a splitting headache. I just saw one on this plant, and I can't see where he went to. Oh, where'd you go? He was like on the underside. Oh, it's kind of hidden. Here, let me move stuff around here. Oh, there he is. Okay, here he is, right there. Okay, get out of the way. There, see? Uh, just stick your head in there for a second. Smile. Ooh. Now there was one over here somewhere I thought I saw. It was I think it was on this cage, but I can't find him now. He's not there, and I don't remember I don't know where I saw him at. Maybe you're seeing it on camera. You know, they're so camouflaged sometimes. It's almost ridiculous. And I think they even get camouflaged better. Like, once they know that you've seen them, they change colors even more or something. I'm going to pull that sucker off right there. But, um... Man, I know I saw one on here, and I can't find out where he was. All right, maybe maybe I'm mistaken. He's not on this plant. I thought it was this plant. I have to come out here every single night and kill off hornworms. I mean, I've been doing it for the last, I don't know, a week or so, maybe a little less than a week's time, coming out here, killing all of the hornworms I see. And I don't see any on this one, but... I see some evidence that there was one here. I'm forgetting which ones I've killed them off on. And I'm kind of pulling off the suckers of the tomato plants too, as I see them. But I may have to, you just have to stay on top of it. Because, you know, eventually they'll do so much damage to a plant that you, you know, they're, they stick out like a sore thumb. Um, so you just have to come out here and keep looking, keep looking, keep checking, keep checking. And hopefully you'll get them before too much damage is done. And this is why I tell people, always grow more plants than you know you're going to need. Like, this plant was chopped off, but I don't think... I think I got this one already the other day. Um, I don't see a body down there that I got. Oh, there he is right there. Look at that. Look at that right in front of me. <laughs> uh, here we go there, buddy. Hang tight. Oh, i got to cock this thing first. I might run out of BBs. All right, here we go. Here we go, Schmo. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh my goodness. I think I did hit the shower over there. Okay, one less hornworm. There will be blood and there will be guts. Old blood and guts. Well, this will be a fun video. I haven't done one of these before, so I think I ran out of BBs. I'm gonna have to go get some more, but I think I've killed most of the ones I've seen tonight. But again, it's like an every night duty. Come out here, check out, check out the plants, make sure there's nothing eating them. And hopefully, after doing all of this fighting, and maybe at the end of the year, you'll get some tomatoes. All right, guys. See you next time on the homestead.